building villages, opening crates, and most importantly, making friends with adorable little people, let's talk about Charterstone. Charterstone isn't necessarily a game that I would recommend to anybody, but if you've played legacy games, if you know Stonemeyer games, and if you know that you're a gamer, I definitely think it's one that you should give a shot. And I can't even hold it up with one hand, it's so heavy. <laughs> Me and my family started Charterstone in the midst of the pandemic, so it's been a little bit of a long slog to be able to get us all together in order to accomplish the campaign. We're about halfway through it now. So while I can't speak very much to the quality of the overall storyline, suffice it to say, it has entertained us thus far. In Charterstone, there's actually a really brilliant setup to the game. You have a few rules that you put into the rule book, and then you just start playing. It kind of walks you through each new development of the game bit by bit. And while there were a couple things we had to search online to get kind of the uh, more finite rules settled, uh, it was actually a pretty easy game to get up and start going. The characters are just freaking adorable. About the middle of the third or fourth campaign, we started realizing that we were actually dealing with a pretty complex game here. One of the really interesting things about Charterstone is that everybody's copy of the game will end up a bit differently. Depending on which buildings you build and which charter, the game can drastically change. Finding the right buildings for your charter ends up being a pretty big advantage as you try to get other people to come utilize your buildings. Overall, it's a pretty unique system, and while the gameplay is kind of slow and very worker placement feeling, in that you don't have huge combos every turn or anything like that, overall, the slow progress and feeling of the game is pretty unique and really enjoyable. Overall, I give Charterstone five pips. It's probably not for everybody, but I do think for what it is trying to do, it's a wonderful game. If you're looking for another legacy style game to get into, go in on it with a couple friends and I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's beautiful and fresh in its design. The components are gorgeous, the metal coins, you heft the box for the first time and you know there's a bunch of quality built into it. The little meeples are adorably designed and perfect in my opinion. Overall, there are a lot of really strong points to Charterstone. I really hope Charterstone is as enjoyable to play after it's done as it was going through the campaign. I'm not exactly sure that'll be the case, and a part of me wonders if it'll lose a lot of its interest once the campaign is over. However, even if you just play through the campaign and get rid of it, I really think Charterstone is well worth its money.